Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on Chess.com's Tactics Train. I'm going to try three puzzles and just share my thoughts along the way here. So, puzzle one of three, Team White. Okay, my first thought is that we have even material and that there's a lot of tension on D5. Hmm, checking moves first. There's a Bishop F4 check. Okay, I don't know what that really amounts to. Well, that could lead to something. If the king is flushed to the corner, then that renews potential back rank mates. Um, what more? Oh, yeah, there's probably something with that, isn't there? There's maybe A3 as an idea. Hmm. Okay, so candidate moves are bishop f4 check, rook takes d5. If rook takes d5, black is forced to capture with the rook, as otherwise queen takes bishop. Let me look at this one first. Um, I will go back to bishop f4 maybe, but I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards rook takes on d5. Rook takes d5, rook takes d5. As a follow-up, what could I do? Hmm. Um, well, this is another checking move. <laughs> I was just kind of focusing on bishop f4 for the checking moves, but this is another. I, I doubt that there's something with that, though. So rook takes d5, rook takes d5, and as a follow-up, if you do a3, the bishop moves, you take the queen, the rook recaptures. I'm not sure where you go from there. However, however, I think I might be onto something with that brief little thought there. Rook takes d5, rook takes d5. As soon as this rook is recapturing, this back rank is vulnerable. And so, if now bishop f4, where does the king go? If the king goes to the corner, well, let me first point out, if bishop blocks, then you could just capture it immediately or take the queen. The rook would essentially be overloaded. If rook takes on d5, rook takes d5, bishop f4, check. If the bishop is blocking, the rook from d5 would have two jobs to defend the queen and the bishop, so that wouldn't be good for black. However, after rook takes d5, rook takes d5, bishop f4, check. Black can, well, if black moves to the corner, then I know what we could be doing. We could take the rook, and then if queen takes rook here on e8, followed by mate. So rook takes d5, rook takes d5, bishop f4, check, would force king to c8. And then, well, there's new possibilities isn't there at that point for checks like a rook to c1 or a queen to c2 hmm you know what there might actually be something with the move order of course I was thinking about rook takes d5 rook takes d5 and then bishop f4 but what about bishop f4 immediately with still two rooks on the board coming closer towards the center is probably that much more risky. I think it is this checking move first. Bishop f4 check, king here, then we take on d5. If the rook takes, then you take on d5 with the queen followed by mate. So bishop f4 check, it seems as if king c8 would then be needed. In which case, you could then do what? You could then give check on c2 with the queen. And if the king is coming to d7, you take the rook with check, queen takes, and then rook d1 with the pin and then win of the queen. However, after bishop f4 check, king c8, queen c2 check, what if the rook blocks? Do I have a good answer to that? I'm not so sure. 
Um, oh, actually, what might be available is the queen coming down here to f7. You know, what, let me let me back up for a second. Bishop f4, king c8, rook c1 check. Seems very appealing. Oh yeah, that must be it. Oh okay, yeah. Bishop f4, king c8, rook c1 check. If rook blocks, you take the rook with check. Bishop takes is impossible. Well, it's possible, but you lose the queen. And if the queen is recapturing on c5, then rook c1, a pin, and then win of the queen. Okay, so I think this is it. I've spent enough time. Let's see if I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> okay, and king c8. And I guess just rook coming over to c1. <clears throat> Let's go with it. That is correct. And rook blocks you just take. It's the most forcing move. And then after that, the pin. Nice, I think. Let me just make sure. <laughs> I've come I've come this far. Don't get it wrong now. Alright. That was it. And let me just bring up the analysis board to quickly show that other variation where if the king went to the corner I think it ha I think I have it all now Let me just make sure there we go that should be right pretty good there so rook takes this was the initial position check if the king goes to the corner then there's this if queen takes you take the bishop rook takes you take here and then mate soon enough. And if the, the order, the thing that I was stumped on initially, do you take on d5 or give the check first? Well, taking on d5 first, rook takes, bishop check. Now notice there's one less piece to cause the black king some trouble. For if now, let's say, check, the rook blocks, you take here, and now there's one less piece around to finally get over there and execute the final move of a pin and then win of the queen. So move order matters, as is often the case in chess. All right, let's try one more. Actually, two more. Problem two. Okay. Team white down a queen, but it feels like there should be a mating net. And there is. I think I see it. Mating three. It's all forcing moves. All right, let's go straight with the checking moves f4 check king here is the only move g4 check king h4 is the only move and then finally bishop f2 mate i don't think i've miscalculated there let me just double check is there something quicker than a mate in three or did i mess up with that initial calculation is the only thing that i'm concerned about kind of wonder how this knight got here and the queen got stuck in the corner but okay mate in three puzzle i'm pretty sure this turns out to be f4 check king here only move g4 check king h4 only move and then the bishop drops back might be a little bit difficult to visualize that but uh, these different pieces moving there's there's in this final move the pawn won't be on f2 this pawn won't be on g3 which makes the bishop able to give mate with bishop f2 all right i'm pretty sure that's it that's correct check check and it goes no further but uh, we could see we don't have to go into the analysis king h4 is met with bishop f2 and that's game over all right let's see if we could go three for three last one Oh, this is going to require calculation. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that calculation stuff. Okay. Well, White better have something up his sleeve. Because... Down a lot of material there. But this pawn is super dangerous. Okay. So, okay, checking moves. Why not? You could give a check here, but this allows king to e4. Um, one of my thoughts that I have right now is, is it possible for white to even win? There might be some 
no. I was, for a second I was thinking, is there some perpetual check? With like a knight bouncing back and forth. The king is a bit limited. Um, like if there was a black pawn on e4, or really any piece that wouldn't be checking the white king, you promote, and after the rook takes, if it did take, knight d7 would be mate. So knight on a knight on d7 would guard e5 f6. Is there a way, however, to do something about controlling e4? You could come over here with your king, but then this king picks up a pawn and has a bunch of other new safe squares to run to. All right, so what is it? Hmm. Knight check seems like an interesting start. But what is the great follow-up after? If knight d7 check, king e4, what in the world do you think you're going to do now? Oh, I think I see something. You know what it is? It's going to be a stalemate. White's going to get stalemated. How did I just see that? <laughs> yeah, I, well, I don't have it. I'm not certain. But what I was just seeing is that after this knight check king here, this bishop is now controlling these two squares. And this is important because now there's going to be a follow-up move of knight f6 check. If the knight is not taken, the knight plays to g8, which will pave the way for h8 promotion to a queen next, or very soon thereafter. And if it is taken, if the knight is taken, well, now you promote to a queen, and after rook takes, there is now no safe square for the king to move to. And interestingly enough, when the knight does play to f6 and is captured, now this pawn is not able to move. When the king is on e4, this pawn is not able to move. So this is what it is. White cannot win. It's the first uh, thing to recognize. I probably should have recognized that much sooner, to be honest, because this rook could always come over here. If this knight isn't, isn't going to be able to give mate, and he isn't, there's a dark square and a light square. The knight is not able to control both color complexes. So this rook, if you can't stop him from getting to h8, and you really can't, then the best white could really do is try for some draw, or in this case, a stalemate. So, that said, I'm pretty sure this is the first move. Knight d7, let me just double check. Knight d7, check. Rook takes, white promotes to a queen. So, knight d7, king e4. This pawn is not able to move. This bishop is now guarding g3 of the relevant, re relevant squares. g3 would be covered. Knight to f6, check. That is a cool move. If the knight is not captured, go to g8. If he is captured, this pawn is now around to guard g5. And then you promote rook takes all these squares, g5, g3, covered. The king is the black king would be guarding these two, and the rook has the other three. That'd be stalemate. Alright, let's run with it. That is correct. I'm pretty sure this is it too. That is correct. And finally you promote queen and that's it it doesn't have to go any further um let's just bring this up with a quick analysis board king takes this was the initial position check if rook takes we're just promoting black doesn't want that so he runs here check if you do something else like this there's knight g8 and he's going to be promoting soon so you can't allow that Pawn takes his best promote, rook here, and that's stalemate. The pawn's here to guard g5, the bishop's here to guard g3. No legal moves. All right, went three for three. I don't know if I did that. It's been a while since I did that, I think. But feel free to share how you did with these, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.